Oh, hey. <laughs> so, I found this video of a dumbbell, 375 pounds. Um, it's kind of a goofy video, though. Uh, everything, all things considered. So, we're going to check it out and talk about it. What's up, everyone? We're in right. at the Cal So, the first thing is this guy's arm is pretty huge. And it makes me wonder... Um, there's no way that that's real. So either A, is that from steroids? I thought steroids, though, didn't really give you muscle. It just gave you, like, artificial strength, so to speak. Like, you can just be an average guy who does steroids, and all of a sudden you have all this uh, capability to lift stuff that you normally shouldn't be able to lift. And so, you know what I mean? I don't think, I didn't think steroids gave bulk. But the other thing is, is this, uh, or is it that stuff from Brazil that the people are injecting in themselves, like the... I don't remember what it is, the silicon stuff, and there's that famous guy who has the ridiculously huge arms, but it just looks terrible, because <laughs> he only uses the silica stuff and doesn't actually work out. Alright, so this guy's the guy I was talking about, I guess it's not silica or anything, it's actually just oils. Um, I don't really know what it gets injected to, if it's into his muscle itself, or if it's just the, under the skin or what, but... I'll just let him do a little bit of a workout so you can just see how ridiculous he looks. It doesn't even look like real muscle at all. It just looks terrible. That's what's going on with this guy. I don't know. Let's continue. Powerhouse gym. This is the vault, and this is where the real shit goes down. So let's go inside the fucking vault. Let me pull open this fucking 2,000 pound fucking door. No joke. <laughs> See, so now that brings up a couple more things. This door apparently is 2,000 pounds, which who knows, maybe it is. I mean, it's pretty thick, and it's a vault door. So. But if he was really that jacked and that huge, that should be pretty easy for him. I mean, it, the door is on hinges, so it's not like it's 2,000 pounds dead drag. It's 2,000 pounds on a hinge swinging. So that's what makes it weird, too, with his giant arms. <laughs> uh, the other thing is that's weird is what, what, what is this gym? Is this a repurposed bank? And why would they put equipment in the vault? part if you i don't know <laughs> let's get into that because there's a little bit more to talk about once we get in the vault this is where the shit goes down oh shit <laughs> <laughs> actually though about this guy too i don't think we're gonna see him anymore some a couple things i want to say is um one his face kind of looks like i don't know plastic surgery ish or something so then that just kind of builds into his arms as well maybe his arms are plastic surgery like muscle implants like some of those guys do with their calves and stuff ab implants maybe he's got some kind of arm implants and his hair is it doesn't match his, you know, how he looks he looks like he's probably 50s or something but then he's got i don't know his hair's weird i don't know what it is but it's just something's weird about it <laughs> the vote. All right, so the guy walked in. Quickly, you can see that this is like regular gym equipment. So they have a regular gym outside that this guy just walked that you know that he was just in and walked into this vault. They have a regular gym out there, and then they have a regular gym inside a vault as well, though. But uh, the only thing special about inside the vault is a 375 pound weight. So what? What? <laughs> What's the point of this? And also, uh, well, whatever. We didn't get there yet, but there are a couple guys already in here, which then the, there's another question. Why was the vault door basically shut on these two guys working out? Who shut the door? Is it, Can you shut it from the inside? If not, then who's shutting the door on them? And if it's that heavy, who, ser seriously, then who is shutting the door on these guys while they're in there working out? This whole situation is just weird. <laughs> The 375 pound dumbbell. See, it's a regular gym other than this one. And that's why we're here. One, it's a regular gym inside this vault other than that one giant weight. They don't even have two. 
Just one giant weight hanging out in there. <laughs> With everything else being perfectly normal. Like, you'd think maybe the vault has more extreme stuff, and that's why it's in the vault. But it's all regular equipment. Regular <laughs> Other than this one giant weight. It makes no sense. Someone's gonna lift that shit today. Oh, so is that how you get ripped? You gotta take some cocaine that you just eat and then flush it down with uh, uh, antifreeze? I don't really understand how that works. I mean, I guess the cocaine would amp you up, so that'll just give you tons of power to be going crazy lifting those weights, but what does the antifreeze do? Hmm. this one guy this video basically ends with this guy so what i i don't understand the why it showed the other guy doing cocaine and drinking antifreeze when he doesn't work out it's just this guy is gonna do it so what's the point of the other guy getting all pumped up with antifreeze for <laughs> and another thing i wanted to point out too is you can't really it's kind of late maybe i should have mentioned this a little bit earlier but what's up with guys always having huge upper bodies and then like average to kind of pathetic lower bodies no why does nobody do legs like this guy doesn't look too scrawny but i'm pretty sure the first guy mr possible steroids and plastic surgery arms he, didn't he have like giant bulky arms with like chicken legs i don't understand that that's a, that makes a weird physique work out your whole body not just the top <laughs> what the Everything else normal in this vault. Three. Four. Four. I was gonna say though, that was pretty good. Like 375 pounds, and for the most part, he did it fairly easily looking. I mean, yeah, he only did four, but I mean, it is 375 pounds. He didn't struggle on his four. They were the same exact type of lift. So, not bad for him. Although, he does only do that arm. Is his other arm weaker? Or he just doesn't want to do it anymore because it's too heavy? I don't know. It's kind of crazy, though, when you think about it, too. Because 375 pounds, that's, like, heavier than a lot of adults. And <laughs> think about, like, wrestlers. Like, even the big wrestlers. What is, what's Big Show weighing nowadays? He lost a lot of weight. Isn't he 375 or less? That means this guy can pick up Big Show with one arm. <laughs> when you put it into that context, it's kind of goofy. <laughs> okay, so I guess he's a tiny bit more. 375 was the, the weight of that weight. Big Show's 383, so he's 8 pounds heavier. <laughs> but still, if you can lift the 375, I don't think 8 pounds more is going to make that much of a difference. But if you do scroll down... You see the weight of these guys, so he could one arm Great Kali, he can one arm Undertaker, one arm Kane, he can one arm Mark Henry. <laughs> so <laughs> that picture of Andre the Giant's kind of distracting. He's humongous looking compared to that security guard. Five hundred and twenty pounds? Man. But still, you know, the overall context I'm trying to get at is a large individual. Who can make people look small. Regular people look small. This guy could bench press. I mean uh, deadlift one arm. <laughs> Alright. Back to the rest of it. Five, how sick. Sick. Elliot. How sick. How sick. Crazy shit. Well. Someone looked at that shit. Just like I said. <laughs> no fucking problem. 330, 375. That's what I don't get either. How come this main guy didn't lift the thing? He starts out the video by himself. Opening that door. Going in there. If he's supposedly as ripped as he looks, why didn't he try to do the thing? Why did this other guy do it? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand that. I mean, come on. If this guy just thick arms could do it, then Mr. Ripped Arms over here should be able to do it. Anyway, so that's about it, I guess. I just... Somehow this video ended up in my uh, recommended when I was scrolling through casually last night. And... <laughs> I watched it just to see what a 375 pound weight looks like. And then after I just, I don't know, 
I thought of all this stuff and all these questions and just wondering about why there's a why a bank got repurposed as a gym and why only one guy does the attempt and why he only uses one arm and why they put stuff in the vault but it's all regular stuff except for that one huge special weight and i just thought of all this stuff and thought maybe i should just make a video <laughs> so that's about it <laughs> and until the next one i said see ya <laughs>